This is the complete story of the Carnage Axis tie-in miniseries, and does not include any of his adventures in the core Axis book. It's short, sweet, silly, and to the point. So, let's dive right in. A clone of Red Skull stole the brain of the recently deceased Professor Charles Xavier and turned him into the deadly Red Onslaught. When Scarlet Witch and Doctor Doom attempted to defeat him, their magic backfired, leading to a cataclysmic event. The bad guys have turned good, and the good guys have turned bad. One of these villains turned do-gooders was Cletus Cassidy, better known as Carnage. However, it seems that Carnage can't seem to wrap his mind around how the whole hero thing works. So he accidentally murders and brutalizes robbers and doesn't understand why people are still afraid of him. He seriously needs some help. Meanwhile, a new supernatural version of the villain Sin Eater is on the loose. <clears throat> the Sin Eater was Stanley Carter, a former agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. who later became a cop. Sin Eater was a serial killer unmasked by Spider-Man, and the day was saved. However, prior to all of this, Eddie Brock, the reporter for the Daily Bugle, had been reporting that a man named Emil Gregg was actually the Sin Eater. After Spider-Man revealed that Stanley Carter was the real deal, Eddie Brock's journalism career was destroyed, which inevitably resulted in Eddie turning into the supervillain, Venom. This new version of the Sin Eater is after reporter Alice Gleason, who ends up being saved by Carnage. Carnage wants Alice to teach him how to be a good guy, but all she wants is to be saved while simultaneously milking Carnage for a new story. Throughout this, Carnage is falling in love with her. How... sweet? Well, I guess it would be a lot more sweet if he wasn't a monster with bangs and claws and tentacles, but I digress because the police still thinks that Carnage is a villain and are trying to take him out. And if that wasn't enough, guess who's back? The brand new Sin Eater! And he's kidnapped Alice Gleason in the confusion! It turns out that this Sin Eater is actually the resurrected Emil Gregg. You know, that guy that Eddie Brock initially claimed was the original Sin Eater all that time ago before he turned into Venom? Ironic, isn't it? Suddenly, Carnage rescues Alice with one of his many tentacles and starts to fight the Sin Eater once again, but this bad guy is true to his name because he literally eats Carnage's sins to make himself gargantuan. Don't worry though, because with one final sin, Sin Eater explodes from overeating. The day is saved, the bad guy has been defeated, and Carnage gets the girl. Right? Nope. Alice betrays Carnage and shoots him to get away. But why? They could have had a family together. They could have lived happily ever after. Why would she do this? It's at that moment that Carnage mistakes Alice's hate for love, and that in order for him to be a true hero, he must be alone with no family to hold him down. This three-issue miniseries was a lot of fun and totally worth checking out if you want to see a fun new twist on Carnage. But as always, now it's time for a vote. If you'd like to see me do a video on Carnage himself, then click on Carnage. But if you'd like to see me do a video on Eddie Brock, then click on Venom. You can click this video right here to watch my complete story of the Hobgoblin Axis tie-in, or click on this video to learn more about Spider-Boy, an amalgam of Spider-Man and Superboy.